Good morning, today we arrived to our last outlet for this Italian trip. This outlet is called Noventa di Piave and it is situated next to Venice. We've already been in this outlet. It happened last summer during our honeymoon trip. We bought quite a lot of nice stuff here with really good discounts and we decided to come back here once again. Hopefully we're going to find really nice pieces. I'm looking for a bag, maybe some autumn winter shoes. We'll see what we're going to find. But first breakfast. Uh, one of the choices for us is this sandwich place. We're going to get in and see the sandwiches right now.
the DPR outlet. Uh, we are in our car on our way uh, back to work. So as you can see, all of the bags with the purchases are on the back. And I wanted to quickly discuss with you um, the main things that I noticed in Noventa di Piave, my experiences there and my impressions about this place. Uh, as I said, it's not my first time in Noventa di Piave outlet, but each visit is not exactly the same because uh, collections change and uh, some new pieces arrive, prices change. For example, uh, as I said in my Florence video, Prada made their prices higher for the bags. Exactly the same bag that I purchased in the Prada outlet three years ago is right now 300 euro more. Uh, so generally Noventa di Piave outlet is quite big. I think it is a good alternative to Sierra Valle outlet uh, next to Milan, but maybe still Sierra Valle is the one that I prefer more, but Noventa di Piave is still very good. It has lots of luxury brands uh, and mass market brands as well and premium brands. So in uh, luxury you have Prada, you have Barbary, Gucci, Todd's, um, Bottega Veneta, Versace, which I don't like, Dolce Gabbana, and well, really a lot of luxury brands. Uh, in the premium brands, my favorites are Maj and Sandro and also Ralph Lauren, although right now Ralph Lauren's uh, collection looked quite limited, I didn't find anything for myself. Um, but uh, the shop is still there and when we were uh, in this shop in summer we bought uh, in Royal Florin a nice hoodie with their classic teddy bear and t-shirts uh, with, with their classic teddy bear which were very nice. And well, that is for the pre uh, premium brands and for the mass market brand, uh, what we uh, what we visit and what we buy are uh, the um, like everyday uh, sports shoes like Nike and uh, New Balance. Uh, we went to New Balance today and we bought a pair of New Balance shoes, which are more like spring summer kind of New Balance shoes for me, and uh, they costed only like 49 euro plus. They had a special discount. By the way, right now is the weekend of special discounts uh, in this outlet, in Noventa di Piava outlet. I think they organize this kind of event uh, several times per year when they make an, a weekend of special discounts and uh, some shops, not all of the shops, you will not have this kind of discount uh, in Gucci for example, but in some shops, mostly premium and mass market, you can have an additional from 10 to 30% discount on some uh, items. For example, New Balance shoes, I had 20% discount. Another thing is important uh, to uh, to know is that in many hotels which are situated next to the outlets, it's not only in Noventa di Piava, we had the same in Barcelona, uh, you can have a special discount um, voucher uh, which uh, will, which will give you additional 10% discount in a lot of shops so this worked for us in most of the shops that we've been to we had this additional 10% discount of course if there is already a promotion like minus 30 then you will not have additional 10 but if there is nothing uh, minus 10 minus 10 is quite nice for example uh, the shoes that I bought in Casa Dei uh, are autumn shoes quite expensive and they didn't have any um, additional promotion on them so my uh, discount voucher from the hotel worked I had 10% discount it was nice so um, regarding regarding my impressions on particular shops uh, the Barbary shop there is a new shop because they open it uh, they opened it uh, only this year in summer when we were uh, Barbary shop was still closed so the, the shop is new it has lots of stuff it has mostly clothes and bags uh, and it doesn't have any shoes at all not even one pair but it has lots of Barbary bags. If you're looking for Barbary bag, I think they have the widest choice that I've seen in the outlet. The Gucci shop is um, not very big, but as I said before, they have a really lot of shoes. In Sierra Valle, they didn't have this amount of shoes. And uh, they also had really nice winter shoes, which I've never seen in any other outlet shop, but they didn't have my size. Uh, if you are like a small size fit uh, lady, uh, you will find really nice shoes out there. 
what else Bottega Veneta shop had amazing shoes they had really like trendy but at the same time not too crazy sandals and summer shoes in really nice wearable colors but they didn't have my size unfortunately I tried uh, the bigger size uh, it was too big for me but uh, the shoes were really soft and comfortable so I, I really it's really a pity that I didn't find my size there uh, Bottega Veneta has really nice wallets. I got uh, my wallet in Noventa di Piave, Bottega Veneta shop in summer and they still have different colors of wallets out there. So that's that's a nice place to get yourself a wallet or like a card holder. Uh, their bags I don't particularly like. They have really trendy bags out there right now with white stripes. Those are really bulky bags. Uh, what else? Uh, Marsh and Sandro are my favorite shops uh, generally for clothing and right now they had additional discounts because of this special weekend uh, in Noventa di Piave. So I had additional 30% discount on some of the clothes I got in Sandro. I also got the bag but it didn't have um, any additional discount. Or, but the price was already good. It was a hundred euro uh, cheaper than uh, in a normal Sandro shop. Uh, what else? Uh, we always go to, almost always go to a Lindt shop when we are in the outlet. Uh, I always, I really like their um, these chocolate uh, chocolate candies, uh, the one that in, are in the shape of a ball, and they have, uh, I think, they have a 30% discount if you buy a pack of different flavors, which is which is uh, really nice, and they are, they are delicious. I love them. What else? Uh, regarding regarding restaurants. In my, opinion, in my experience, almost all restaurants in outlets are good quality with really nice food. In Serravalle we had the most amazing pasta ever. Here in Noventa di Piave we really like pizza and we had pizza last time we visited this outlet and this time as well we had pizza. Uh, I don't remember the name of the restaurant where we went but I filmed it uh, so it will be included in this video also uh, what else they have lots of cafes so this morning we had a coffee with some sandwiches uh, the place where we had coffee was called Suto Cafe I think it was called Suto Cafe we also had a macaroon there I think their sweet stuff is better than their uh, savory stuffs I really like the macaroons more than the sandwiches but still the place is nice and uh, the tables look really beautiful uh, so it's 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 a good place to take a break during your shopping. Also, if you like the brand Bali, uh, their shop here is quite good. It is as good as the Sierra Valley shop. We managed to find a pair of winter boots for my husband that we've been looking for for a long time because uh, in Ukraine the winters and in Poland as well winters are really cold. You get a lot of snow and it can be min minus 10, minus 15 and uh, it can get muddy outside. So you need really warm and durable winter shoes and we were looking for exactly a pair like this for him and we managed to find the one in Bali but they didn't have it, have it um, displayed on display. We just asked them if they had a winter shoes with fur like really for cold days and they had yes they said yes we have them uh, hidden and uh, then they got them out we tried them on they had a great price and we got them so I think it's a good tip that if you're looking for something in particular in particular and if you don't see it on display it's a good idea to ask uh, the assistant if they have this thing because they might have it. It's just hidden because right now is not a season for it. Or maybe this thing is not very popular among people so they didn't, don't want to take for it to take place on display. I don't know for whatever reason but they just don't put everything on display. The same thing in Gucci. In Gucci they had some shoes which were hidden in the drawer and I asked them why are they this hidden in the drawer and she said we have really a small amount of sizes for these shoes so they think they these shoes are not worth uh, the not worth the space on the shelf. Well, okay. For some people, this can be a really valuable find, especially um, most shoes, uh, they remain in the small sizes. So if you're like 35, 36, I think you should ask for those hidden shoes because they are there and they are quite nice, trust me. Uh, in Gucci, I was looking for a twilly to put in my hair. I really wanted something cute with flowers, something like this. They didn't have anything like that. Another shop, which I always visit in the outlets, but I've never 
ever bought anything from there uh, is the uh, cosmetic company store every time I enter I think okay I'm going to find something special right now there and I never find this is a store which sells uh, cosmetic br uh, brands like uh, Estee Lauder, MAC um, Clinique, uh, Glam Glow, they have Jo Malone, uh, they have Michael Kors perfume, they have some other skincare brands I think, they have Smashbox, maybe that's it, maybe I forgot something and uh, I mostly go to the Jo Malone uh, shelves and look at the Jo Malone. I really wanted to get a candle this time but the only candles that they had are aware the winter collection candles like Christmas candles and I really didn't feel like buying a Christmas candle at the moment and they had a really nice peony candle but not the, their classic peony candle but an, an, another one but its glass didn't look like a classic glass it was full of flowers and I didn't like it so unfortunately didn't get anything there but um, a set of three small candles three small uh, jomalon candles was 60 euro and i think it's a nice price and uh, this classic size of a jomalon candle uh, i think it's 180 grams uh, it costs 40 euros in the outlet so quite quite a nice price it's not a huge discount but you never get a huge discount for a jomalon candle generally so that was it. I also went to L'Occitane. I wanted to buy just a shower gel, maybe some hand creams and uh, they had some discounts. Not huge, but they had some discounts. We bought three shower gels and we also got as a gift uh, a set uh, of uh, their classic like almond a shower gel, hand cream and it, there was something else inside which which is a nice treat you know if you don't have a huge discount but uh, you have a gift it is it is still good I think so I think I said everything regarding my impressions of the mall um, probably my favorite shops during this visit were uh, Bottega Veneta, Gucci, Mash, Sandro, Casa Dei this time and uh, well this this made the, the biggest impression on me during this visit uh, Todd's uh, by the way was really uh, small this this time they didn't have um, almost anything good compared to the Todd's in Florence where we where we have been uh, last week or two weeks ago and if I had to choose between uh, all of Italian outlets I think I would still choose Seravalle and it is still my favorite uh, the second place would be Noventa di Piave and the third place I would give to the San Remo outlet the mall which we visited during uh, last summer and the last place would go to the Florence outlet the mall um, that outlet got the last place because it seems big, it seems nice and luxurious but the diversity of uh, products inside of the shops is not super amazing, is not big and well the only thing that I managed to find there were the um, loafers from Todd's and in all other shops they didn't have more things that they have in Sierra Valle or in Noventa di Piama or in San Ramo so the, these were my impressions mm, uh, all in all I have to say that outlets are really worth the visit and in the outlets you can find the discounts that uh, that you will never find in regular shops that you would uh, generally not find online and you can try on all of these pieces uh, even if you can find this discount online you can try on the thing but with the outlet you can go through the shop you can touch everything you can try everything on you know it's always better to choose stuff when you you can see it with your own eyes and you can touch it and when it is all online and well yeah you can you can see how comfortable are all of the shoes because for example i always wanted to uh, get a pair of the aqua azura um, sandals you know they're famous summer sandals with um, with um, some flowers and stuff like this I tried them on they had huge discount they were like 167 euros per pair uh, and they were so uncomfortable I couldn't I couldn't walk in them and thanks God I didn't purchase them online one day because I wouldn't be able to, to walk in them so yes that was it our trip to outlet is over for this time and uh, this video will also be the last video in the, the series of our Italian trip this uh, this time so our Italian trip is coming to an end we really enjoyed the trip 
uh, although traveling by car can be uh, quite tiring uh, also you have lots lots of emotions and impressions which gather and in the end it seems like a mess in your head but after you come back I think when you look through all the videos when you look through all the photos it will it will all uh, set set in your mind and will all get into places but generally it's just a mess of emotions but really nice emotions we visited lots of new places which we loved and generally Italy is the country country that we really like we like the scenery we like the food of course we like the food we like the fashion and, and lots of other things and that's the place which I always recommend to visit in Europe thank you for watching this video and I will see you soon Never imagined I'd be sitting here beside myself Cause I didn't know you, cause I didn't know me But I knew everything